Greetings! And welcome back to Blanks. No one asked for. And in today's episode, once again, we are traveling across the pond to the UK where we try some British sweets. Were you actually paddling over there, Mark? Yeah, I was. Mark was like paddling. We will rank each sweet on our very British scale of bloody disgusting, UK okay, lovely, or oh my days. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> so, highly requested Galaxy Chocolate. Um, I think this is one of the ones that most of our viewers. I sure hope it's out of this world. Yeah, yeah. so there's a little bit of a. <laughs> Out of this world. Yeah. There's differing opinions as to whether Cadbury chocolate or Galaxy chocolate is more smooth. Mm. Galaxy says it's smooth milk right on the wrapper. Yeah. So. Yeah. But doesn't Cadbury also say that? I don't know. It might. Anyways, there's not much details on the packaging, uh, but a dollar seventy-five here in the U.S. And, uh, so yeah. Got our local dealer. Gotta stop saying that. <laughs> For those of you that do not know, I am not a huge chocolate fan. Oh, we know. These yeah. guys we know. are, so I will try not to damage the average of our collective scores. It smells nice. It's smooth. I can't get rid of it. It is. Again, that's the thing with it's like. Thick. It's, the, it's rich too. I think we're not accustomed to this. You know, you use more real, not, you know, the U.S. uses more artificial stuff, obviously. Whew. And this just kind of coats your mouth. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's going to stay there for reminds the entirety me, of the episode. Reminds me of those individually wrapped Dove mm. chocolates that you yeah. get, like Valentine's Day and stuff like that. You, you get get stuff another one? Valentine's Day? <laughs> Mark ate another one. You get stuff for Valentine's Day? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Pump up the game, man. Um, uh, I really don't. UK okay, but then again, I'm not a big chocolate fan, so taste lovely. Again, the coating of the mouth just drags it back down to UK okay for me, I guess. I'm gonna go. Over, and I don't want to offend anybody. I'm gonna go lovely. Mm -hmm. I like chocolate. All my days. Oh, oh. Mm. so, so that'd be a lovely, I, guess. I think that's an average of a lovely. Oh, lovely. Wow. All right, these are Bristow's traditional bonbons, and they are black currant and licorice flavor. So we don't get black currant flavored things over here in the U.S. Um, I also don't know that I've ever had a bonbon. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, Ricky so. Martin suggests you shake your bonbon. Yeah. Um, yeah. So these are well, we paid four dollars for this bag. Uh, it seems a bit high, but. Mm -hmm. You know, not really sure what you guys would pay for it over here. It's got whey powder. They pay four dollars for it over here because that's what we saw. <laughs> yeah, they don't get a UK discount. <laughs> they pay four dollars to ship it here. Very uh, oh pungent. That's an interesting. What, what is this? I'm curious to know what the texture is. Yeah, like I is was not, a, I was not expecting. Is that a gumball? And is it black licorice or regular licorice? Yeah, that's gonna it's change. Probably black like licorice. Wake a wish. wish. All right, uh, here we go. Bon bon. Pick a bon bon, a bon bon. Wow, it's Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Stop! Um, mm. I'll hit you in the mouth. So it is soft. You say it was soft? Soft. Er, oh, I, I just. Then what a brick? I just started chewing on it. <laughs> That was, it's got an outside shell. Yeah. Was inside, inside, inside black licorice shell. Oh. The coating must be black currant. Mm -hmm. The inside is black licorice. Because mm. I just ran into the crow uh, jelly beans. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah. That just ruined it for me. Yeah. I don't like how long it's taken me to eat it. I'm more like chewing it, but I like it. I'm sorry. That's bloody disgusting. It is very bloody, bloody disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> um, um, yeah. I'm guessing by you spitting yours out, 
Disgusting. All right, resounding the average for the black currant bonbons. Bloody, Bloody disgusting. disgusting. Next here we got some party rings. Woohoo! Party! Oh, that was short lived. Hope you Fox's know. party rings. Every day's a party with party rings. I want to hire Martin to do some marketing. Yeah. Fox's party rings. Everything's a party. marketing party. <laughs> marketing. marketing. Not sure okay. what it is over in the UK, but over here it's three dollars and seventy five cents. So. Now we do have some uh, great value cookies that are commonly found in daycares all around the U.S. that you would put on your finger. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's the same or comparable snack. Looks like these got ice. I think you're open. Ours don't have ice. No. Oh, oh, these look lovely. Hold on. I severely underestimated. These look all of them delicious. Well. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Cheers. A lot of crunch for a cookie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'd break them up and put them, put them in my meal. Or Make cereal out of them. ice cream. Are they called cookies yeah. over there or are they called something else? You know, Biscuits. Biscuits. That was good. That was good. I'm mean, still gonna give it a lovely. Um, just something. It's like a good sock. Seven out of ten. You know, it's. I don't think I would go with a seven. Oh. I'm going UK. Okay. <clears throat> I am also UK. Okay. I'm going with a lovely. All right. So the average score for party rings undecided. All right, so what we have here is more of my favorite licorice. Mm -hmm. uh, Maynard's Bassett's uh, says set, set the, the juice, juice loose. loose. And I believe, based on this picture here, we're going to have another... Oh, uh, pick and mix. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we got a story here. In 1899, when accident-prone salesman Charlie Thompson tripped up, he mixed all the different sweets he was carrying, Whoops. creating the weird and wonderful mix of sweets that we know and love today as Maynard's Bassett's licorice all sorts. Say that five times fast. You did great. Um, Thanks, Christian Thompson, whatever your name was. Christian yeah, well, Charlie. Charlie Thompson. So one pound in the UK. Well, Three dollars here. Uh, Man, they're making a bank. Look at this. <clears throat> and I'm not a Holy <laughs> moly. Ooh, yeah. That one looks cool. <laughs> I was not expecting was them nice. to be that size. Um, Guess I'll do this white one. I think it's all everybody's got a white one. Try that. That's a lot of liquid. Oh, something. Oh, there's more. What is oh. that? Is that a tire? <laughs> Good. Charlie. How about we try the pink one? That's smaller. Okay. Everybody got a pink. Charlie, what's what's what happened? I swear there's gonna be black licorice in this. It smells horrible. Uh -huh. The texture is better than the bonbon. It's softer. Oh, it tastes like a bar of soap. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. That's worse than bloody disgusting. Mm. That is uh. <laughs> I want to drop blue too. Yeah. Oh no! Not oh, rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. That is horrible. Mm -hmm. do, do people in the UK like black liquors? <laughs> Is it on fire? <laughs> I feel like I just ate. Use your words. I feel like I just drank alcohol and not the good kind. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll pass on that. Pass on that. Oh, that like. I breathed the in when I bit into it and it just like consumed my lungs. It yeah. was like dookie. That's like that's like a Twizzler, but <laughs> it's like a cat turd. <laughs> Texture of a Twizzler. Uh, please get those away from me. <laughs> uh, rubbish for me. Bloody disgusting. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like raisins. 
<laughs> you don't like raisins? <laughs> you don't like raisins? I do like raisins. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. <laughs> They all like raisins because, oh my gosh, that's terrible. Man, the aftertaste is. <laughs> that I, tastes nothing like raisins. It started out tasting like a raisin and then like, whoa, yeah. it's got some If a raisin had sat in the sun for six years. <laughs> Don't leave your cheese doodle out And, too and long. went to jail and is currently on probation and then I ate it. Gosh, it tastes yeah. like a turd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to ask everybody, but I think a unanimous, <laughs> resounding. Uh, uh, hold on, uh, Mark, Mark, Mark will probably be the one that says, uh, okay. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, okay. Three, two, one. Bloody, Bloody disgusting. disgusting. All right. We moved from Charlie to Murray. Murray. And it's also Maynard's Bassett's. Let's hope you're batting better with this offering. Than you are uh, with these are Murray Mints. Uh, we got these for four dollars and fifty cents mm. here in the U.S. That's the most expensive. That's the uh, most expensive candy we've so, yeah. Let's hope it's worth it. Um, yeah, these expire next month, so <laughs> we're gonna eat. They may have been sitting at the UK store a little longer than some of the other snacks we've tried. Some other bad But you know, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe because they're not as packed with artificial stuff, mm. they have a shorter shelf life. Oh, I'm shelf. tracking again, not a fan of hard candy, so it's got a good smell. Oh, to it's it. got that wedding mint smell to it, all right. I like vanilla mint. Yeah, you're vanilla mint. <laughs> Accurate. That's a horrible taste. It's a great way to describe me. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. I don't think this flavor works in anything other than a mint. Mm. I don't know. A good, a good creme de liqueur. Would probably gonna be good. Yeah. Now. I'm gonna throw a wrench in the whatever the phrase is. Um, Monkey wrench. In the previous edition, we tried glacier mints. <laughs> Which is this better or worse? Would you say without ranking it, like rating it? I, I say it's better. It's got more flavor. Yeah. Um, also say. Now, um, would it take me one hour to eat this and an hour and a half to eat a glacier mint? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, not bad. <clears throat> not bad. For me, just UK okay. Yeah, I'm okay. going to UK, UK okay. okay. UK like, okay. I feel like if that was just laying around and I... I feel like if my grandmother <clears throat> offered me one, I'd have to take it. Um, but I wouldn't go out of my way to uh -huh. you know, break my If I'd just eaten some fish sauce, I might want to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. Had pop one of those in. Yeah. So, the average scale for Murray's Mints, UK, UK okay. okay. We, I think the three of us have tried wine gums before on a previous live. Uh, our, one of our viewers, Mark Delegati, uh, actually sent us some wine gums of a different brand. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how these compare. I have not. You have never tried wine gums. I'm hoping this is. Do they have a, wine flavor? They're like um, tonic, like there's different. Oh, that's got a good smell. Look at the yeah, back of it. They're, they were actually pleasant. quite good. The other one actually told you like, like there was- Long orange. Yeah, orange. I like orange. I like orange. All right. We're all popping orange. Mine gums. Mm -hmm. That mint is still overpowering. I need to get that out of my mouth. Mm. You should try a bonbon. Mm. I like it. Pork. Some lips. That's pretty good, man. Mm hmm. <clears throat> mm, the green. See, I'm a big lemon fan, so. What's the green line? Mom. Very strong line. So I, I'll break this one. I am a sucker for gummy snacks. That is a oh my days. That was phenomenal. I'm with you. Oh my days. Mm -hmm. I have 
one qualm was if they stick to your teeth a little too long. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm honestly not. Those are wonderful. I'm gonna say lovely. I don't think that. Lovely. Needs more taste. What? You are. Maybe my taste is masked because of that. I don't know. But. Normally, if we were at a stalemate, it would be undecided. However, the only two people. I'm gonna override yeah. this one and say wine gums. Oh, oh my days. How they should be. <laughs> Maynard Bassett, stop making the other two things. Yeah. Make focus on these. Focus, focus on them solely. Mm. Those are the British UK sweets from today's episode. Is there anything that you really enjoy that you've not seen us try yet? Drop that in the comment below, and we will try to get our hands on that and try it in a future episode. Also, is there something that you absolutely hate? that you'd like to get an American's perspective on, we'd also be more than happy to try that. Except well. for black licorice. <laughs> no bonbon. So without further ado, we're gonna come back over to this side of the pond and say, this has been blanks no one asked for, and certainly no one asked for that. But wait, there's more. Still got that itch for more blanks no one asked for? Click that bottom left video down there to see the content that YouTube thinks would be the best for you.